thank you, uh, especially for this brave effort to try to pronounce my name. You were not even close. <laughs> but uh, then none outside Iceland has been able to pronounce my name correctly. It is not very international. It's Guðlaugur Thor Thorðarsson. And I have all the strange Icelandic letters in my name. And uh, I just wish I would have a, a YouTube where everyone outside Iceland would try to pronounce my name. It's been all kinds of uh, <laughs> things which has come from that. But, uh, dear guests, I am truly delighted to extend a warm welcome to Iceland on this significant conference co-hosted by my ministry, the Nordic Councils of Ministers, and the Nordic NG Research. Serving as the chair of the Nordic Council of Ministers, it is both a privilege and an honor for me to host this event, which forms part of our larger engagement within the Nordic and Arctic Circle Forums. I want to extend a special welcome to my esteemed colleagues from Scotland and Greenland, whose busy schedules allow them to participate in this vital gathering. I extend my sincere appreciation to the Nordic NG Research and our NG Authority, working closely with our ministry, for assembling a remarkable agenda and gathering expert speakers to share their insights. Today, as we gather in Reykjavik, we find ourselves at a juncture in history where the discussions and action surround, surrounding NG security and citizen engagement hold immense significance. Recent developments, including conflicts, conflicts near our European borders and the ever-present concern uh, about climate change have underscored the critical role that security, a secure and sustainable energy plays in our lives. We are reminded that energy security is synonymous with national security. Before delving deeper into these critical topics, I'd like to draw your attention to a more local perspective, my first-hand experience in addressing these challenges. We all recognize the critical importance of energy security and the imperative of generating more sustainable energy as we, we transition towards healthier, more resilient economies. However, it is equally essential that the public is an active participant in this transformative journey. When I assumed my role as the Minister of Energy, I was confronted with a challenge, an imperative to correct public discords and combat misinformation. There was a significant lack of awareness regarding our energy requirements and the urgency of moving forward after a period of stagnation and opposition. To bridge this gap, we initiated the publication of a comprehensive report on the state of our energy affairs. This report was more than just a document. It was a call to action. It highlighted the pressing need for energy development and underscored the sense of urgency. Consequently, it played a critical role in securing parliamentary approval for the framework for energy utilization projects, a significant milestone after a prolonged standstill of nine years. While we are excited about these de developments, we acknowledge the inevitable time lag associated with such projects, and we still anticipate a wait before they become operational. Additionally, it is essential to underline that achieving public acceptance is necessary for these projects to come to fruition. Another point from our Icelandic perspective, we express profound gratitude to, uh, to the generations that came before us and paved the way for complete energy transition in both electricity and heat production. Our self-reliance on renewable sources have been a significant shield during the current energy crisis. We have been fortunate to experience 
uninterrupted electricity and stable heating cost in our homes and businesses. This underscores the urgency and provides added momentum for our third and ultimate energy transition, the complete elimination of fossil fuels from our mobile sectors. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand at the intersection of challenges and opportunities. In conclusion, this conference unite, unites essential themes of our time. And compassing energy security, citizen engagement, and the energy trilemma. As we delve deeper into this discussion, let us remember that the decision we make today will re resonate far into the future. It is my hope that our deliberation will yield valuable insights and actionable strategies that will collectively shape a brighter, more secure and sustainable energy future for Iceland and the world. Thank you for your presence and I look forward to engaging in productive and insightful discussion over the course of this conference.